The first time I heard of UTMB was in 2007. Uh, a good group of American runners came over here and, and they all ended up not finishing the race. And it was kind of this eye-opening experience, I think, to the depth of European mountain racing. And it kind of captured my imagination then and I've wanted to do it ever since. And this year it worked out with uh, support from Buff and uh, my other sponsors. And uh, I was able to come over early before the race and experience the whole region of Mont Blanc and Chamonix and get a, a good feel for the, the area and the mountains and the course. During the race, I wanna be sure to be paying attention to myself and my body and the way I'm feeling and not get caught up in the excitement too much because we're gonna go through Saint-Gervais and Contamine and there's gonna be a lot of crowds and it's gonna be really loud and, and everybody's gonna be cheering, but you gotta to remember to just stay calm and stay relaxed and and wait, basically. Joe Grant is, he's sort of my main training partner at home in Colorado. We do a lot of running and climbing in the mountains together. And he came over, he's from France, or he spent most of his childhood in France. So he speaks French and he's run the race three times before. So he has a lot of experience with the event and his job will be uh, to crew me. He'll be my assistant uh, around the mountains. And the spare battery. He's running his own race. Yeah. He's about 10 minutes back from uh, Julien. Mm -hmm. Which is uh, which is it's great fun. at this point. At this point, yeah. Yeah, I don't know. At this point, um, three hours in. Yeah, it's, it's kind of hard a to say. To it's a long way yeah. still to go. Anything so. can happen. Tony come through, first place, looking really good. Mm -hmm. His stomach's not bothering him. Yeah, awesome. Yeah, he's not cold. This is about as, as good as we could have expected for, yeah, it's for him at this it's, point. He's going perfect so far. He was doing really well in Grand Col Ferre and took the lead there and uh, Miguel Haras um, dropped back seven minutes so he was feeling good and then coming down into um, La Fouli uh, he started to have some issues with his uh, hamstring and his Achilles and they just uh, became very very tight and he couldn't bend his leg anymore. Yeah it just sort of got worse and worse and then he couldn't really run downhill and then he couldn't walk downhill. And so he sat at the aid station here in Triomphe for um, an hour or more. And then he tried to walk out of here as best he could, but just really couldn't do it. So I think he gave it a really great effort, and um, that's, that's all you can really do.